Hey everyone, this is Neha from Edureka and in this session I will tell you how to install Selenium on your system. The first step is to install Java on your system and followed by Eclipse installation and finally you have to install and configure Selenium on your system. So let's get started and see Java installation. So it comprises of three steps. First one you have to install your JDK that is Java development kit and then configure your environment variables. And finally, if you want, you can install JRE, that is Java Runtime Environment, on your system. So you might think why you need to install JDK and JRE, both of them. So let me first tell you the difference between JDK and JRE. JDK is basically used for developing, testing, and debugging apps and Java applets. It can also be used to run the applications as it is a complete package and it contains JRE in it, along with other tools like compilers, debuggers, etc. While on the other hand, JRE provides libraries, JVM, and other necessary components to run the applications that are written in Java. But JRE cannot be used to create or modify the Java applications. So it totally depends on your usage. If you want to develop Java applications, then you should install JDK. Otherwise, if you want to run some applets or applications, you can simply install JRE. So while I'll be installing Java, I will show you how to install JDK and then configure environment variables and followed by the JRE installations as well. Now let's see Java installation first. So you have to just type Java downloads and you can see it over here that it is there. So you can see here it comprise of JDK, server JRE and JRE. So first I want to install JDK. So I'll click on this button. So here you have to select the accept license agreement radio button and then click on the download link that matches your system configuration. So I have Windows 64, so I'll click on this. So we have to just wait for a while as it is getting downloaded. So once the JDK gets downloaded, you have to just follow the on screen instructions like choose next and install it. So it will take a while to complete this process. So you can see the message here that the JDK was successfully installed. Close this. Now what you have to do is you have to go to your system and configure your environment variables. So you can see here when you install the JDK even the JRE package was installed along with that. It means it is a complete Java development kit. So this is present in the location where you have your program files. So once this is done the next step is to configure the environment variables. So you have to search for system and click on advanced system settings. So here you have something called as environment variables. Just click on that and under the system variables you have to set the path for Java. So the variable name will be Java home because you have to give the Java home variable name and the variable value will be the Java path. Simple just click on OK. So on the system variables you can see that the Java home was a variable name and the value was the path for it. OK so after this. You have to just open your command prompt and give Java hyphen version. This is to check whether the Java was properly installed on your system or not. So you can see the version 8 of Java was installed on your system, correct? So this is how you have to install Java on your system and then configure the environment variables accordingly. Next, we'll see Eclipse installation. First, you have to download the Eclipse for Java Enterprise Edition developers because it is a complete package that will be useful for Java Standard Edition as well as Enterprise Edition. Then you have to extract the zip file and run the application as administrator. Simple. Let's see how. So click on the first link. And as I have told you, I have a Windows 64 bit, so I'm just installing that. Download. So you just have to unzip it over here. Once that is done, if you wish, you can just create the shortcut else you can open it from there. So as I have created a shortcut of this file, I will just launch the application. So you can see Eclipse is ready. And the last step is to install Selenium and configure it on your system. Let's see how to do that. So you have to go to Selenium ORG. Choose this link that is download Selenium. So you can see the latest download version is 3.141. So click on that. It's getting downloaded. 
So I have kept this executable char file in my C drive and the next step is to download the Java client. So in the same download page, just scroll down and you can see here there's a language called Java and you have to download this. So I'll create one folder called Selenium. I'll save the char file in that and also then also I will save the Java client also over here. Now as you will be using Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox for executing the programs. I'll download the Chrome driver. I will be basically using Google Chrome. So that's the reason I'll download my Chrome driver. So you can just scroll down and you can see there's a Chrome driver. Again, you have to extract it and paste it in the folder where you have your Selenium installed. So you can see there's a Chrome driver available over here. And again, if you want to download Geekko driver, if you want to use Mozilla Firefox, you can just download it over here. Simple. So now your Selenium is installed. Now let's see how to create a new project in our Eclipse and check whether the Selenium is properly installed or not. And let's see what are the libraries that we have to add. I'll give project name like something Selenium. Next, finish. After that, I'll create a new package. Say, for example, Edureka. And now I will create my class. First script. Say it as something. First script. Finish. Now you can see there's a system library for Java. So I'll configure build path and add the dependencies for Selenium. You have your Selenium installed. So I will apply and close. Simple. So you can see I have created a first Selenium script wherein I have set the system property for my Chrome driver by assigning the path of my Chrome driver. Followed by that, I have created an object of new Chrome driver and maximized the window and deleted all the cookies and I've declared some implicitly wait for it. And now using this driver.get, I'm navigating through the Yahoo login page and I'm using XPath to find the particular element and send the keys. So you can see the reference library is present over here for your Selenium. Let's run the program and check the output. You can see the Chrome driver launched Google Chrome, navigated through Yahoo login page and entered the value as edureka at the rate yahoo.com. And now it will wait for 10 seconds and then move on to the next page. You can see that here, correct? So you can see there's an option called build path. Um, these are the external jars or the libraries that comes along with Selenium. So these things should be present. Apply and close. Very simple. So this is all about the Selenium installation. I hope you understood how to install Java, Eclipse and then finally installing Selenium and its dependencies on your system. So that's all for the session. If you have any doubts, you can comment in the comment section below and we will reply back to you at the earliest. That's all for the session. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!